Let's discuss a proof here where we have to prove that incident ray is parallel to the reflected ray after incident ray suffers two reflections by two plane parallel mirrors. Let's look at the problem. We have a ray AB incident on the mirror gets reflected along this direction incident on the second mirror and gets reflected along the direction CD. These two mirrors are parallel to each other. What we have to prove here is that AB is parallel to CD. We can call this mirror as M and this mirror as N and remember that in this problem mirrors are parallel to each other. We can mark this point here where the incident ray strikes mirror M as X and this point where this reflected ray strikes mirror N as point Y. At point X we can draw a normal. Let's call this normal as N1 and point Y also we can draw a normal and we can call this normal as N2. Normals are lines that at a particular point are perpendicular to the surface. So N1 is perpendicular to mirror M at point X and N2 is perpendicular to mirror N at point Y. Since the mirrors are parallel, their normals will also be parallel to each other. This angle will be angle of incidence I1 for mirror M and this angle will be angle of reflection R1 for mirror M. I1 is the angle of incidence which the incident ray makes with the normal and R1 is the angle of reflection which the reflected ray makes with the normal. For mirror N this angle is the angle of incidence and we can name it as I2 and this angle will be angle of reflection we can name this as R2 and by laws of reflection we know that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection so I1 is equal to R1 and I2 is equal to R2. Let's now discuss the approach for solving this question. We will model this problem into a problem of pair of parallel lines and try to solve this using the properties of parallel lines. Remember, we have to prove here that incident ray AB is parallel to the final reflected ray CD. For proving AB parallel to CD, we can see that I1 plus R1 and I2 plus R2 are the alternate angles if we can prove that I1 plus R1 is equal to I2 plus R2 then by converse of alternate angle theorems we can prove that AB is parallel to CD. We have already discussed since mirrors M and N are parallel to each other their normals N1 and N2 will also be parallel to each other. Since N1 is parallel to N2 and we can look at XY as the transversal so we can see here that R1 and I2 are the alternate angles. So that would mean that R1 is equal to I2. Now we have R1 is equal to I2 and I1 is equal to R1 and I2 is equal to R2. So this will imply here that I1 is equal to R1 is equal to I2 is equal to R2. All are equal. So very easily from here we can establish that I1 plus R1 is equal to I2 plus R2. And these are alternate angles that means AB parallel CD. So I1 is equal to R1 call this first. I2 is equal to R2 call this second. This we get by laws of reflection. Also 
R1 is equal to I2, call this third. This is because these are alternate angles as N1 is parallel to N2. From 1, 2 and 3 we have I1 is equal to R1 is equal to I2 is equal to R2. This implies we will have I1 plus R1 will be equal to I2 plus R2. But these are alternate angles. Therefore, by converse of alternate angle theorem, AB is parallel to CD. This is what we had to prove. Let's summarize what we learned from this problem. We modeled a real-life context into a pair of parallel lines and used the properties of parallel lines to solve the problem.